Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel Software Tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add transitions into your videos in Video Studio Pro X7. So a transition is basically something which goes in between two clips whether it's a video clip or a photo and for example here this is one clip this is the other I'm going to put something in between here to blend that one into that one. This is very useful for making your videos look smoother more professional, easier to watch, and a whole load of other reasons. Transitions are a really good thing to put in your videos. So to put a transition in, what you first of all need to do is press this button which says A, B, and that is the transitions. Now you see it's defaulted to my favorites. Now there's only four here, um, and you might not actually have any in here at all, because you, if you haven't been on your transitions before, then it's not very likely that you've added something to your favorites. So you need to go to your drop down menu, and you can either select a specific category from any of these or you can press all which is what I'm going to do and then you can see there's a whole load of different transitions here there's lots and lots to choose from I just zoom out so you can see how many there really are as you can see there's not really a shortage of transitions in Video Studio um, so really what you have to do is just choose one that you want to use in your videos um, and then all you do then is just left click on it, so I'm going to go for cross zoom left click on it, drag, you'll see it will then create this little box in between your two clips let go of left click and it's then inserted it and I'll just show you that quickly and you can see it put that transition in and obviously it's called cross zoom so what it did is it zoomed in and then zoomed out um, of the new clip. So there is another thing you can do with this and that is the length of the transition itself. So if we left click on this and press options you'll see that it says one second, that is the duration and this can be changed. So if you want to make this two seconds for example you would left click on that, increase that number and it now says two. When we come off that you'll now see that the transition has stretched because we've extended the time and in this case we've doubled it we've made it twice as long. Also some transitions will have some options here, now this one doesn't but on some you can add a border, the color and the soft edge. Now as I say cross zoom does not have that function. Okay so I've just inserted a new transition and this one is called mesh. I'll just play it so you can see what it looks like. So you can see it meshed in between the two videos there and this one does have some things you can change now a lot of the transitions have different options here so if I go through all of them it's obviously going to take a very long time but if you come onto this options tab then you'll probably see some things you can change here now it does vary as I say depending on each transition but for this one you can change which direction the mesh comes from but at the moment it's a vertical split and that's this one here now you can change this to a horizontal split so if you left click on this you can then see that it goes up like that, whereas this one was across. So there are a few things you can change. Obviously, transition dependent depends what it is. Um, but the best thing to do is just when you've inserted your transition, just come onto this options menu here, which is just down here. Press options, see what you can change. Always good to play around there, see what you can do. If there's nothing, then it might just be that transition doesn't have any options you can change. But sometimes there is quite a lot of stuff, as I've said. So Yep, the best thing to do, choose a transition, put it in your video clip, put it in your project, look at options, see if there is anything you can do. If there is, have a play around. If there isn't, then if you're happy with the transition as it is, then great. That is your transition inserted and the duration length changed. So hopefully this Video Studio X7 tutorial has helped you to insert transitions into your videos.